Home to perhaps the loudest fans in the NFL, CenturyLink Field is the site for this NFC West matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. Hello friends, Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for this important matchup late in the year. The playoff chase is on and every game is an absolute must. Partner, how about it before kickoff? Uh, it's a good time of year, isn't it, Jim? You can tell, you can just tell the difference in talking to the teams and watching them practice, how they know it's more important and it's must-win situations. Those are the best because we see the best in the players, but I'll tell you what also, we see the best of the coaches. They'll have a few plays out here today that we have not seen this year. These two divisional rivals Most about importantly. What's going down, YouTube? It's Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City. And I'm coming back with another Madden 13 Connected Careers against the uh, Arizona Cardinals once more. I know uh, we faced them last time I played in this game. Uh, but the uh, scheduling and all that, playing all these videos and games, um, you know, just trying to do something, trying to at least get a few games of Madden in because I'll be busy with all the NBA 2K and all that. So I'm going to try and do the best I can with uh, trying to get as much Madden as I can in. But uh, this team right now, I mean, I think this is like week 15 or something, and we're like, I think, 8-5. and five. So, I mean, just, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But uh, I missed most of those games anyway because, uh, you know, uh, previously I was in Florida and I missed uh, a lot of those weeks. So I wasn't like, you know, it was we were still won games, which is good, but, you know, I was... <laughs> just missing games so what can I do about it so uh, just happy to you know get a, at least play some Madden in and uh, you know do what I need to do to win this game against the Arizona Cardinals which last game if you saw the last video it was a uh, quite a close game you see me making the nice tackle right there on uh, do set it's hard to get interceptions I still haven't get, been able to change the camera angle which kind of sucks I, I finally figured out that you, you cannot change it which is kind of stupid, but what can you do about it? So, um, you know, I'm going to be stuck playing on this stupid camera angle for the longest time. Uh, that's that's one thing I don't like about this Madden Connected careers with your a superstar player is a stupid camera angle. I can't change it. I've looked everywhere to just change the camera angle and have my like have it focus on my guy because I think that's what makes me. That's what made me so dangerous in Road to Glory. As you see me giving up, our team giving up the touchdown right there to Larry Fitzgerald. He's been nothing short of spectacular this season for the Arizona Cardinals. As the Cardinals actually have a, are, are one of the shockers in the NFL, along with the Vikings and uh, uh, the, I would say the Bears too, but uh, you kind of expected it from them. As long as they had some good receivers, I thought they were you know, a Super Bowl contending team. You know, they had an excellent enough defense. They just needed some weapons on offense. But you see uh, the fumble recovered by the Seattle Seahawks, and we are in business as Marshawn Lynch had actually a big game for us. But uh, we got the field goal. We're now down 7-3. And now we need to go back out and play some defense. Later on in the second quarter, the sweet play goes wrong as the defense is just there to swallow him up in the backfield for a loss of four. Very next play, at, right after the two-minute warning, actually. And Skelton, I'm surprised he's still starting. Well, I think Kevin Cobb is, like, injured in this. I don't know. I'll have to look at the injury report. I haven't played this in so long. But he gets sacked. Skelton gets sacked. So we're just trying to do what we need to do, and it's just try and get after the quarterback, play defense the right way. And, you know, I go back. At, they get the carry on third and 22 I don't know I think that was just more of a battle for field position I don't even think they tried on that third down but we're still down 7-3 as we're getting closer to halftime he gives it off to Beanie Wells and Beanie Wells breaks a couple tackles but he actually gets a nice game right there but um not much going on there right there for him so he's gonna be uh stuck there going in the lead Arizona has a 7-3 lead going into halftime so could they get the revenge on us after that uh Big week one shocker that got called back. But uh, Larry Fitzgerald, he got caught coughing up the football. And we are going to recover. And a couple of plays later, 
It is taken in by Marshawn Lynch for the touchdown. And we are up 10-7. to So now we got our first lead of the game. And it comes at a pretty decent time. So I'd rather it's not say it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And Beanie Wells gets stuffed in the backfield again. And we're just trying to roll on defense. Our defense hasn't been giving up many yards ever since that touchdown on the first possession by the possession by the Arizona Cardinals. As you see them playing man to man on defense against me against Larry Fitzgerald, but they aren't even trying to take advantage of that. I can see why though, because I'm on defense. I may not be getting the interceptions, but I am definitely holding my own. Uh, it's just so hard to, like I said, with the camera angle. When they give it off to Beanie Wells again, he gets stuffed in the backfield. Not much going on right there, as their defense isn't really doing that well. Except for, well, their offense hasn't been doing that well. But Scouting's been completing his passes, but he's been doing all these little check down baby bullshit. It's crap. So we, you know, we... Every time they throw that nice short pass, and we, we're always there at the point of attack. And now Skelton again, trying to do what he needs to do, but he keeps on handing off the ball. And this time he coughs it up again. And but this time they recover. This time though, so you know it was a it was a good situation for the Arizona Cardinals. They got lucky that it didn't bounce into our hands and possibly take it in for six. And Skelton again. This time he's throwing, but he gets taken down by Clemens. Clemens was a beast this game. He came through when we needed him to. As you see, Tavares Jackson throwing it to Golden Tate, the most infamous receiver in the NFL, getting the touchdown. And now we have a 17-7 lead. You wonder if Golden Tate had to actually do a pass interference just to get the touchdown. Or if he even had possession of the ball, for that matter. Oh, well, I'm not mad. I'm not even a Packers fan. So what am I talking about? <laughs> but now as you see Skelton again, throwing it deep, oh, trying to get it deep, but he gets sacked again by Clemens. It's Clemens with the second sack of the game. And now the, the defense is going to try to hold their own on fourth and eight, trying to get, prevent them from getting a first down. And then you see Skelton back to throw. He's taking his time, but he gets nailed as he throws, and it's batted away by the defenders. As Seattle holds their own, as you see Marshawn Lynch getting another touchdown. Now that's pretty much going to wrap that up. Final score was 27 to 7. Even though you saw 24 7, we added on a field goal afterwards. But that puts us up to, I think, 9 and 5. So I think that's going to be a decent enough record to make the playoffs. Uh, that's for sure. Seattle's been doing pretty good. But, you know, it's all about that Super Bowl ring, and especially in my uh, online. League, I would like to win a Super Bowl, but uh, don't forget to stop on my other channels Facebook, Twitter, yada yada yada. <laughs> but until next time, I'm Sim with Vengeance and I'm out. <laughs>